shape of Texas. Okay, so to give you another update, we are down to the last of our dumpster needs. Uh, so we got a little bit of pile from the yard still. Got an empty dumpster I'll be filling today. Uh, just kind of show you guys the outside. So we've had some, some good rain here recently. Rained a lot last night, ground saturated. Uh, really don't need any heavy equipment on this dirt today because of just tear everything up with roots, with ruts rather. Uh, so here's, I don't think I've really given you guys a good view of the front. Uh, so we'll show you a little bit of the front. <clears throat> so we got a nice size front porch there. Uh, so over here on the left is our dining room currently. And in the middle we've got the living room. And then on the far right is a front bedroom. The front door is just off centered over there. Uh, we actually have a decent front yard, probably 30, 40 feet between the front of the house and the street. Got our, our neighbor's view over there. So they were able to get in here with their big bobcat and knock down some trees and then turn a lot of stuff into mulch. Uh, hoping to meet my roofer guy out here today. The roof. Yeah, you can see that. There's leaves and ferns and holes and tarps and this, that, and the other thing. We'll see what it's going to cost. But looking at the, the house itself, the brick is in really good condition. So I've already, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, how I'm measuring for the new windows. But we'll put some new windows in here. You know. It's funny, each bedroom has three windows, so that's just gonna be more expensive. Two on the side in these case, and then one on the front or rear, depending on which which bedroom you're in. Backyard, so this lot is roughly 300 feet by 100 feet. And so we go all the way back to where they stopped clearing stuff. Got a nice size patio back here, probably 15 by 15 patio. Uh, so that's the back of the rear bedroom. Uh, bathroom's a small window. Master bedroom is the bigger window. It's like a little breezeway with a laundry room there. And then the garage. We haven't really done much in the garage for you. It's got a light. I haven't figured out how to turn it on. I just haven't really spent time in there. Uh, kind of see how, how shot that roof is. Uh, the roof above the breezeway is just being held up by two by fours. Just a lot of debris in the yard. If you remember my first video, we couldn't even walk back here. We were trying to follow a little path. We had a fence along the property line along the street. They were able to take that out. Oh, it does look like we have asbestos siding on the on the garage. And then part of it they covered with a, a masonite or hardy board, depending on the era. Uh, maybe even both. And that takes you back to our side yard. So I'll take you inside, show you the rain. We were privileged to not have rain for the first two weeks working on this house. Uh, but the rain really has gotten into here. And this floor is just soaking wet uh, for obvious reasons because we've got the, the roofs got holes in it. Uh, so this is the kitchen, obviously. Uh, that one definitely leaks all on top of the countertop where that hole in the floor was. In the dining room, these leaks... I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but the water's still just dripping from the ceiling. Uh, and this wall, again, I expect to have to completely rip out and reframe. Yeah, floors are just soaking wet now. That carpet, I just, I can't wait to rip it up. But it's just so nasty, I don't want to rip it up at the same time. <sighs> Luckily, this room doesn't have too bad of a roof leak, so it stayed pretty dry. Uh, the bathroom has a lot of condensation, just humidity. But these these bedrooms definitely have the, the roof leaks coming into them. The floors are just really warped. But that's a lot of windows. I'll show you how I'm measuring, and then we can get those windows on order. Because with all the backups from COVID, we're going to have to order stuff months ahead of time of needing it but I want to get these, the outside of this building wrapped up pretty quick so it's dry on the inside. Okay, check me out later. So I found some crazy stuff today. 
um, but this one just came up and it's an electric telemarketing system digital voice recorder uh, so it looks like someone could easily record something and then potentially just call right out yeah there's a phone jack on the side uh, maybe you would type in your numbers that you're gonna call and it would automatically call all those people oh, don't you just want me to throw this away so quickly somebody actually had to create this Let's get rid of it. Okay, so I'm almost done with this back bedroom. I guess the front bedroom, but the last one to, to clean out. A bunch of rolls of carpet, a mattress, some miscellaneous paper. Ugh. It started raining today and everything just kept getting soaked. But this one shelf is like leaning forward. So I was like, what's going on? And I got to show you this. There's, there's like a skull mount with horns. Ugh. I just broke a horn. Um, let's see if I can unwrap it a bit better for you. Yeah, here's one of the horns. Look at that. That's easily a foot long. Uh, and it's got a matching one on the other side. Just something else we found. Today was, was quite the endeavor. Tomorrow's just another day. Oh, and a couple machetes.